All right. Assassin! That being, that being said, you can get through uh, at least a fair bit with her. I got her to level 7 without ever using dodge. Oh. Okay, so there's, I, I, I so there's like a subclass for each. Yes, there is. So infiltrators like the dual-wielding melee, there's the sniper, and there's the eradicator, which I assume is like an assault rifle wielder. Essentially. You know me and snipers, but I mean, the thing is, with... Uh, the Eradicator uses a shotgun and a sniper rifle. Ooh, that sounds good. I, You uh, know how I... The sniper uses a sniper that's, rifle. That's literally and... me in Gears of War. I'm going to do it. Alright. Story mode or challenge mode? Well, we're going to be playing uh, story. it. Yeah. Do, do story. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing story. Name. My typical female name. Baroness. Okay. Um... You know, I'm going to see if it scales things up to me and not to you. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can play my Crusader, because he's honestly the one I have the most fun with. Okay. I'm going to see. In the 40, 41st millennium, uh, dyslexia still exists. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, I still can't read anything. <laughs> Damn it! Part, shouldn't, this, shouldn't this be part of the stream? Yes, it is. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> You're on! You're on, Kilo! <laughs> We're doing it live! <laughs> Screw it! We're doing it live! Inquisitor's law. Uh, oh, gosh. Stardate. For later transmission. Well, luckily I am closing luckily on the source the, of the Inquisitorial um, distress signal I was assigned to investigate. Why am I being so terrible right now? Encryption. Public <laughs> speaking is a valuable it skill, is kids! Stay extremely. in school! <laughs> Um, Does school help with that? The uh, actually, yes. Some schools experience. have public speaking classes. Oh, and uh, taking theater also helps because you're in front of the public. So theater and performance helps public speaking. So yes, actually, school does help with public speaking. According to Samuel L. Jackson, being on stage and acting helped him. I mean, it's the same thing. You're speaking in public. It's yeah. You're adopting a persona on top of that. So you're adding extra cringe on top of yourself. Because, <laughs> I mean, pretending to be the this high-pitched voice person who's acting like a, like, like a, like a, like a, like a dumbass Inquisitor, is, uh, this is, your captain is embarrassing. Speaking. Yeah. So I'm doing that to hail in front of other people, no probably in a stupid outfit, of course it's going to be embarrassing. They could have come speaking ago. that way. Then what do you expect to uh, find over there? But anyway, like I was saying, Something that uh, once belonged the, to the Inquisition. Uh, and lots of empty The main orbs. three classes all have the same uh, Sounds intro. exciting. Oh, okay. I've instructed yeah, so it's not like Sacred 2 where you have different prologues for each character. Stand no, by and wait the same for intro signal. for three of the four Dang. classes. I wanted the... to be like the Inquisitor in, in Sacred 2 and like just initiate a bar fight. <laughs> that was <one is> weird. <laughs> <laughs> it was weird when that happened. I'm just like, whoa, why is, why is everybody attacking all, us all of a sudden? Because people don't house. like you. You're an Inquisitor. You look like Palpatine. And, and, you, Palpatine. and you can shoot lightning from your hands. No. So there's that. The only uh, difference is you can explode their corpse afterwards. It sucks that Tungle that. Ah, oh, gosh, I'm so upset. It died like a year ago, too. Really? What the hell? Inquisitorial law. Okay, I'm walking around like it's Space Siege. Attempting to dock in the hangar of an unknown fortress monster. I don't know that game. It's uh, Dungeon Siege, but worse. Oh, <laughs> I like Dungeon Siege. Dun Dungeon Siege 1 is pretty good. Uh, the other ones are not. Uh, especially 3. I, I think Dungeon Siege got worse with each iteration. But I, I have Dungeon Siege 1, 2, and 3 on Steam if you want to do that sometime. <laughs> I think if you buy Dungeon Siege 3 on Steam, they have like a special edition that comes with 1 and 2. Are those multiplayer? Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. I, I know 3 is two player, at least 2 player co-op. I believe 1 and 2 are also co-op. I believe that was like one of the main points. Because I remember, but the thing is, I remember the first one showing like a LAN at the, uh, like LAN at the main menu. It's been forever since I've played oh, gosh, Dungeon Siege, and I think the Dungeon Siege I played most was 2, I want to say? Oh. Gosh, I'm moving my mouse in this menu, and the skulls are, like, shifting, and... Ugh. Mouse in the menu, and the skulls are shifting. You're... Oh, wait, you're in the options, aren't you? I'm um, in the tutorial oh. menu. Time it's slows possible. down, the camera pans around the executed foe. 
Skip elaborate animations after missions. Character flashlight. What the fuck? Loot auto pickup. Character flashlight just means that it it shows which way area directly around you lighter than everywhere else. Hmm. Yeah. An ancient cogitator. Let's see if the tech prayers still hold. Cogitator. Information about this place. Words are interesting. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Cogitator's funny to me because uh, I was watching Cynics play uh, Battlefleet Gothic. I suspected, oh, okay. It's uh, have you played that one? No, no, I don't really play simulation, uh, like ship sim simulation. <laughs> well, one of the things that you can do is that there's some gimmick that uh, it lets you temporarily slow down time to, you know, hey, let's RTS this and react better by just slowing down time and everything, so that way I can actually get my 90 million orders off uh, because I'm captaining a, a freaking ship in the 41st millennium and these things are like the size of a freaking city um, and like a big city <laughs> so uh, and one of the things that and what they call it is uh, they're activating the tactical cogitators and they say it every time you enter that mode <laughs> So like I'll I'll be sitting here listening and I'll just be hearing activating tactical cogitators. Pause for five seconds. Activating tactical cogitators. <laughs> and they'll also have other things like uh, the voice voice Ooh. clips on click and on I telling them what to do chaos. and all that. An interesting so he came to a head when he was Wait, playing. They're, uh... they're bringing the chaos into the tutorial. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, you're fighting Nurgle at the at the end of the tutorial. Isn't it great? <laughs> what a shame. I'm but the exploded. Tomb despoiled by the, chaos. He, 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 he came to a head when he was playing chaos. This place or, yeah, he was playing as chaos. Uh huh. And so, like, some of the some of the uh, voice clips would be just for the ruinous powers, for the dark gods. <laughs> and so, and he ended up at one point hitting just the right timing and button presses so that way the activating tactical cogitators went off right before for the dark gods so it sounded like activating tactical cogitators for the dark gods <laughs> <laughs> and they all they, they sound so angry it sounds like they eliminate the enemy team in, in the freaking <laughs> transformers oh game. yeah <laughs> that was great eliminate the enemy team it's great oh my gosh so we started, we started joking about that and just mocking the hell out of it. It was, it was, it was absolutely glorious. And so now I can't hear Cogitator without laughing. That's as frequent as as when you pressed all the the insult button in a uh, stronghold. Peasant. Dave. <laughs> Puffin J. Puffin J. <laughs> oh. Conclusion: was, After uh, thorough investigation and questioning, I can safely claim no personal, no personnel were involved in the incident. The defense turrets opened fire with any, without any human involvement, and the signal blocking any teleportation attempts is generated automatically. I found new information. There okay. is an emergency uh, nearby. For some odd reason, I just started thinking of um, uh, Prey, which came out the, like the same the month as Near Automata, and oh, it. So pray, uh, the, newest the, prey. The, the prey reboot, yeah. Yeah, the it, reboot, not the one where you're playing yeah. as the, the, the one that's uh, more like vaguely, System Shock than it is guy. like. Yeah. Um, I'm a little disappointed they got rid of the vaguely Native American guy. Yeah, right. He was he was a good character. Like, Tommy was a good character. Um, that basic ability was cool. I that liked too. It. And they had like the different. Um, oh my gosh! I just shot him and he exploded. I love how I'm complaining about Prey, and I never actually played the remake. <laughs> the remake's actually good, but it's more like System Shock. I've it's heard. yeah, it's it's different, but it's still good. I've I've heard it will make you paranoid about every mundane uh, item in your house. Yes, yes, it absolutely will. <laughs> what do you want me to do? What does the game want me to do? Nothing's popping up. It's zoomed out. And then it's doing nothing. Oh, okay, great. I'm dodging for some reason. Ah, they're shooting at me! <laughs> Kill them! It's a Diablo game! Eradicate it. Kill the heretics! There we go. Okay. Man, they are exploding. 
Okay, that guy at least just lost his head. But it's weird how it got shot off. I mean, to be fair, what weapon are you using? Sniper rifle. How do I turn dodge off? Because all of a sudden she becomes like, I want to dodge, and that's it. Well, I mean, you can always just click the move instead. Loading. Yeah, that's fair. <clears throat> um, what the heck was I talking about? Oh, pray. Uh, it like, yeah, like I was like, oh, I'll go search this trash can, and then it attacked me. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even search things and feel safe. Everything's a mimic. Yeah, it, but then like you can also shape shift into things. So like you're like, how do I get in this room? And then you shape shift into a coffee so, mug. So what I'm, hear so what I'm hearing is, is pray turns you into that D and D party and that one joke where the bartender asks why they walk into their bar all armed, and then just they stone face say. Mimics. Yeah, they pretty laugh, much. The bartender laughs, the table laughs, they kill the table. They had a good time. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. It's it's like that scene in Evil Dead 2 where the deer head turns to him and laughs. And like everything in the room is laughing. I actually had a very evil idea for a D&D uh, &D game. Uh, just every so often drop a mimic, like in a chest or something like that. Uh, just enough to make the party a little bit jumpy and paranoid, but yeah. not enough to have the mimic checking everything. That'd be good. Um, yeah. I like and that. Then, and then, like, on, like, a bookshelf or something, make a book a mimic. Oh, my God. <laughs> have it be friendly. Oh. And then explain to them that, like, either uh, mimics go insane and attack random people if they are left alone for too long, or just they wake up angry. Huh. All right. And so the reason that the, the mimics have been attacking him is because they, they wake up cranky and they've been waking their asses up. <laughs> and then just make the players feel bad. <laughs> that could work. I like that. <laughs> it's so mean. No, but it's great. But at, at the same time, it's just like when I brought up the mimic book, you're like, oh, that's a great idea. I'm like, no, that's like what I would do with a mimic. You don't make just chests mimics. No. That's true, though. That's you, true. you get like a mimic door, the mimic book, the mimic chest, the mimic carpet, though that's really just an animated rug. Um, <laughs> you know, you, you do that. Mimic sword. <laughs> Ooh, a new weapon! Ow, it bit me! I think my favorite would be a mimic gold coin. Like, how long would you have that before you realized it was Oops. a mimic? Can you imagine the paranoia of just like, okay, you find X amount of gold, and just every so often you're rolling a die every time they uh, grab for their gold, just to see whether or not they grab the mimic piece. And then at one point, they're like in town paying for some mundane item, and then, ow, what the fuck? My finger just got bit. <laughs> that would make the players so paranoid <laughs> Yeah, it left me pretty paranoid. And then, like, Prey is weird because you can get different, like, alien abilities, but you can get different human abilities. And the more alien abilities you have, the more alien you become, so, like, the turrets may not recognize you as human anymore. I think I saw a theory where, um, the video game for Prey, uh, it's all a simulation, and you're the person that you're controlling is actually one of the aliens and they're trying to teach it human empathy? Uh, yes and no. In fact, I forget if that's a theory uh, or just, like, actually you know what? what's happening. Yeah, that, that is the game. Yes, that's legitimately... That's the, oh. Yeah, that's that's not a theory. That was legitimately the entire game. Oh. I, I, I remember hearing it as a theory. Nope, it's more than that. It's the game. And all your choices depend on how they respond to you being an alien that's been exposed to all that in the, this kind of virtual reality scenarios that they've created. And whether they consider you as an alien species able to become something that they can coexist with, or if it's like, well, fuck it, kill them all. So I guess uh, spoilers for a five-year-old game. Yes. Uh, not even. I don't actually know how old uh, it is, Near Automata, 2017. So two yeah, years. So, yeah. But, you know, it's it's been 20 bucks for a while, so... <laughs> people, who, people who wanted to play it have probably played it already. Yeah, presumably, because it's been on sale quite a bit, and it is it is a very good game, and it's been 20 bucks, so it's like... What am I shooting? I don't see any cover. 
The game is telling me there's cover there, but I don't see it. Oh, uh, it has issues with things just large objects just disappearing for no reason. Good to know. I was yeah, shooting was nothing, and then all of a sudden I walk up to it and it says, press space to take cover. I'm like, there's nothing there. What is this? Yeah, it, it does that with... Uh, is my character a schizophrenic? That because that of? would suck. It does that with gun emplacements that you can take control of. Oh, oh boy. Uh, you, like, don't know they're there unless you look at the mini-map and see this little, uh, targeting reticle on it, and it's just like, oh, hey, there's something there. And then you walk up next to it, and it's like, press F to man the heavy, the heavy bolter turret. And it's like, oh, that would have been nice to know it was here when I was fighting all these assholes. Okay, so I can throw grenades now. Yep, you have a limited number, and they're on cooldown. Stationary yeah. cannon, F to interact. Yeah, that's that's the gun. That's the thing that shot about. me, but it's invisible, so no wonder yeah, I was confused. That's the place that I was talking about. Yeah. Like those are invisible for some reason. I, I do annoying. like this dynamic destructibility. Yeah, it is really cool. I just really wish that like you could hold shift or control or something, and uh, that would turn your uh, left click into shoot rather than hey, I want to move here. Uh, <laughs> does it not? Not when I tried it. Nope, mine mine works just fine. It's exactly what mine does. Mine didn't. That's weird. It's just my shotgun isn't really doing much. Oh yeah. Um, if you're thinking that a shotgun is gonna be like a single close range high tar, no, that's not what the shotgun does. It's a spread. It's meant for groups. Got it. Uh, lots of reading. It's not what I'm here for. Readings for nerds. <laughs> I'm here. Ju I'm just here to play Warhammer. <laughs> <laughs> fucking nerd. I'm not a nerd. I'm a mega nerd. <laughs> what is this? Oh, a corpse. I love to go around just touching random corpses, especially one that looks like it spontaneously exploded. Oh, good. He had a like one of those dash cams on his chest. Oh, oh, yeah, you're seeing the Hellbird. Yeah. I used to have a Oh, it's on replay. Actually. Good. Good. Yeah, I used to have a Hellbird, actually. I sold it because I didn't like the model. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I ended up selling it. The guy who got it was really was stoked, though. He was like, yeah, Hellbird. I've been wanting one of these. That's one of the, thing, that's one of the things I love about the 40k modeling scene. Of just you, you don't want something, you can sell it pretty easily, and... The guy you're selling it to is going to be super excited to have it. <laughs> Why is this person glowing? Whatever, they're dead. Ah! Why really did he explode into a bunch it. of things? I really wish I knew what you were seeing! You are Damn guilty. Freaking... Devs, if you're listening to this, please make your tutorial co opable. Right? Because <laughs> this is infuriating. <laughs> ah! Little dead space things! There is strength in numbers, you, you know, I just realized we've been going on for like 10, 15 minutes, and uh, we have not introduced... No. Blood. Yeah. Are we just going to keep doing that? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I've gotten a kill streak killing these little things. So, oh, so that one died dramatically. Why did it die so dramatically? The rest you of them died? explode, and this one goes, ah! It's like that germ in, in, that in, in the germs episode of Invader Zim. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, like, dies so about. dramatically. <laughs> ah, why? Yeah, like, clearly Team he Sigma was taking uh, Shakespeare. I'm afraid Team Sigma won't be responding anytime soon. What? Who are you, and what are you doing there? Taking a stroll on the decks by the Emperor? Yeah, so I guess, I guess you're, uh, unless you've brought me up before in one of your other videos, I guess you've no idea. No, this is this is new to them. No, no, no. Nobody knows that I've known you for over ten years. We're old. Oh, God. We're old. Oh, God, it's been that long. <laughs> yeah. We're almost 30. Oh, God. You log entry. Yeah. I establish connection with someone from an Imperial expedition on the I'm ship. Like that one lady in Alien who gets all the gunk sounds. on her when the chestburster pops out. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. 
<laughs> you know that reaction was completely genuine, right? Cooper oh yeah. Did not fucking tell any of his actors like, hey, this is what's gonna happen. Yeah. No, he just like did it live and recorded the reaction. Tutorial is not co-opable. God damn it. Castle. Yes. God <laughs> damn it, Castle! Put your hands behind your back. God damn it, Castle! <laughs> it was a brutal scene. It was a brutal scene in a terrible movie. It wasn't... I've seen worse. Yeah. The Punisher Netflix series was hella good, though. I haven't seen... I haven't, I, I, I haven't even seen the Daredevil TV series. The Daredevil TV series is the best one. I, I only saw the bits I saw with you. Yeah, it's it's really fucking good. Can you shoot that guy, please? I'm just staring at him. I mean, shoot him, then. Alright, time to get the sword out. Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, I, I kicked him. I slashed him in half and then kicked both halves of him. <laughs> he rocketed across the other side of the map. I don't know why. That sounds like a surge execution. Like an execution from the surge. Oh. I have to play that. Exactly. Um, I don't know if it... Actually, wait, no, you've been enjoying uh, the uh, freaking force... Whatever. Oh, the new new Star, uh, new Star Wars game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been enjoying that, and that's a Souls like. So you might enjoy the series. I mean, it's Souls like inspired in some ways. Um, I'm gonna have to learn to like it because Darksiders Three is that way as well. Can't. I'm clicking on it, and it's not picking it up. Uh, that's because yours is probably Mac. Mac supplies. Who says? What are these supplies anyway? Temporal distortion field. Uh, the supplies... Uh, the it's supplies a surprise! Well! The supplies... No, the supplies replenish your grenades. Your three. Right. It replenishes that. But... Uh, for the temporal oh, distortion you... field... It I... said surprise. It's a short-range teleport. Ah! No, 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 that's time slow. So yeah, you found a time slow. Congratulations. Well, yeah, I figured that much, considering it was distortion. Massacre. Ow, you shot me, you a-hole. Ow! You shot me, you a-hole! It's an upgraded kill streak. I figured that. I've played enough Halo. <laughs> Can't wait for that to come out. That's gonna be fun. I definitely would love to do a Let's Play of those. Honestly, I'll probably skip Halo 6. I skipped Halo 5 just fine, so I probably will do the same. Yeah, I, I'm honestly thinking that, like, outside of playing the old ones and remasters, I'm probably not going to yeah. Halo I'm, games. I'm so excited to play ODST again. ODST was so fun. It was really good. And I'll be, I, I'll be able to replay through uh, 1 and 2 and finally remember what the hell goes on in oh, 2. Fuck, I'm gonna die. I can never remember the events of, that go on in 2. Oh, because 2 is, like, they were, like, pretty light on the story in, in 1. So they were like, oh, we got to make up for that. that in, in... It also didn't help that it kept switching between the Arbiter and Chief. So it was just like, oh, wait, I haven't gotten the full... I've, that was some pulp, yeah, it was some very Pulp Fiction style. <sighs> it didn't help that we binged it in, like, a night, and I think we were tired. <laughs> that was 4. We did that in 4. No, because I think we binged one, two, and three in like the same night. Did we? I think oh, we did. Fuck. Oh, that's right. Because you were like, oh, I, I got weekend. three, but I've never played Halo one or two. Yeah. And you, you, that's because you had an Xbox, but you like pretty much only played Blue Dragon on it. Yeah. And I was like, all right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play through Halo one, two, and three at my at my dad's place. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we binged that. We binged fucking, that in like a weekend. We fucking rocked it though. Oh yeah, no, we kicked his ass. I think we even did it on Legendary to get the Legendary ending. I think we did that for one, but I don't remember doing that for two. Which one was it that has Johnson hugging the leap? I think that was... Was that three? No, that's not three. That must have been two. Because I know we did that one. Oh, then we did two. So I think we did all three. Oh, you might be right. <laughs> 
We were some mad lad teenagers, man. Fucking A. Also, do you remember how I had uh, my sensitivity set up to 10, so if you picked up my controller, you were like, Oh god, I can't control Oh yeah, it. I felt sick. <laughs> my sensitivity was at max. I found you guilty of You're a sensitive boy, ain't you, Tommy? Oh, fucking hate parties. You're a sensitive boy, ain't you, Tommy? See, the sad thing is, is that like two weeks ago, uh, Cynix and I played through Reach. He'd never played Reach. Oh. Um. And we rediscovered the Halo Mythic tabletop RPG, and uh, they were wanting to like create a Spartan in that, uh, and uh, possibly think about doing a uh, doing a Halo campaign with uh, oh, okay. BGMing because I know more about Halo than him. Hmm. Despite the fact that at this point now he's played more Halo games than me because he's actually played through the Halo Wars game. Oh yeah, I have uh, one on Steam. I. I... I can't get into the Halo Wars games. I I don't. RTSs aren't my thing. Yeah, but I imagine it's better on. You you tried it back on 360. On console, yeah. And then it got ported to Steam later as like a remaster. So I imagine. Yeah. It's now just, it's it's better. It's just I I can't get into RTSs on their own either. So. That's fair. Yeah. I I can really get into Dawn of War. So. I tried getting into Dawn of War one. Dawn of War 2 was a lot easier because it was just squad-based. Yeah. It wasn't really an RTS. Uh, and I played a bunch of, uh, basically, the Horde mode uh, for Dawn of War. Actually, hmm. I had a real, I have a really troll build for that. Uh, I play as the Orc, and I just oh, teleport around. And I've, I've, I, I expected into the teleporter so hard that uh, pretty much if I get attacked, I have like a 20% chance to just teleport away, and whenever I teleport, I leave a grenade. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just teleporting randomly around the battlefield, blowing stuff up. I'm immune to knockdown, so the grenades don't hurt me. And every time I teleport, the place I teleport to, I blow up. So I'm just teleporting around, blowing up all the time. It's great. I have a troll as hell build. <laughs> and on top of that, I have a rocket launcher pistol that I'm using. That's like my, uh... <laughs> that reminds me of my, um... My build in Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. Where I would be a, a mage that, like... Eradicated. I don't remember my build for that. Where I where I could teleport through people and poison them as I, because I teleported through them. I think I did. I think I built that as well. I think we have basically the same build. Yeah, but I, did you have more warrior? Maybe not. I, I might have. I might have had more warrior. Probably. I think no. you had more war, like a couple into warrior for uh, just for uh, some. Wait, no. Like passive I did stats. Have a I did have a thing. Some some stuff into warrior. Uh, because I got the scorpion move, the get over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I grabbed the chain. Was that... N oh, wait, was that a rogue move? No, that was a warrior move. Okay. I'm pretty sure it was a warrior move. I don't even know if I own Kings of the Swarm or Lore on uh, PC. Because I thought you used, um... Like, a sword. No, you I used daggers, man. Okay. I used daggers for that. That was back when I still like exclusively played rogues. Especially since uh, daggers are the only thing. Daggers and Beyblades are the only things that can actually uh, stealth kill. Even though the stealth is not that great in that game. I mean, I used the stealth kill a lot. I, it. There were a lot of points where it could be used, but then there were also points where it just it was specifically designed against you. Yeah. Seemingly. There, there were a lot of points where basically running with a great sword was the best option. Yeah. Or a no, hammer. Uh, I didn't. I didn't start getting into using uh, great swords and such until I played uh, Dark Souls. Oh, okay. Yeah, when I played Dark Souls one and got the great sword of Artorius after getting the Black Knight sword uh, and a lucky drop the first time. If I hadn't done that, I would probably still be exclusively playing rogues. <laughs> Now I'm just like, great sort, great sort, great sort. Charge! Well, I you love, might want to get that uh, Berserk Musou game. 
I've reached the end of uh, the uh, Band of the Hawk. Uh, yeah. Cool. Actually, I can just play it whenever because oh, yeah, from library, share. library share. Yeah. We have yeah. that active, so that way any single player games we can just buy one. That that makes sense. I mean, I mean in, it, it also makes sense why then you have like 250 games and I have over a thousand. Yeah. It's also just I I check what games I buy more. I don't just be like, hey, this is two bucks. I'm, I'm just gonna buy it. <laughs> Never heard of it before. <laughs> I'm glad these uh, troopers aren't shooting me. Oh, you're, are you on the mission where you get given a bunch of Imperial Guard? Yes. Okay. Uh, you have one more mission and the tutorial's done. Okay. Not counting this one. Not counting this one. Because I only just started this. Eradicate. Yeah, and the last mission's a defense. Oh boy, my favorite. Yeah, I didn't get sick of tower defense and what was it? Dead Island Riptide. I mean, tower defense games are actually pretty fun sometimes. You just have to. Yeah, the only reason it worked in Dead Island Riptide was because I played uh, John, and he got this ability for like his sprint kick, which electrified his kicks. And the way the game was programmed made it so that a lot of electric attacks sent enemies flying back so any any standard like non-special zombies would like ragdoll flying backwards at such a velocity that if they hit any objects they would explode on contact i, I just remember the old tower defense games on like i think it was awesome uh, no it was addictinggames.net i think it was uh maybe i i remember like one where you just like s swooped your mouse upwards and you you <laughs> threw people up in the air, and then they came crashing down. Oh, God, that was... Crashing that, down. That wasn't a tower defense game. That was a stick... That, that was a defend the castle game, and it uh, used stick figures. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Them and sweep them up in the air, and then they'd go fly, like, 200 feet in the air and splatter, and it was freaking great. <laughs> it was really annoying when, like, the, the flash would bug out, and then it wouldn't register that you, you know, jolted this person upwards, and so they'd only go up, like, two feet. Yeah. <laughs> Ah. Uh, they need to make a phone version of that. Oh gosh! That bed had a person in it, so I shot it, and it just like exploded into a burst of blood. <laughs> I somehow was not expecting that. That bed had a person in it, so I shot it. Yeah. That, that's an average <laughs> go-to reaction. That's my solution. To everything in this game. Hmm. I have questions about this. I think I'll shoot it. Hmm. I wonder if this fire is hot. Bracka, 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 bracka. <laughs> hmm. Results inconclusive. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna stab myself with this sword and see if it kills me. Oh this God, is just the sign doing? of Eerden! Wait, why do these things not slow? Are they too small to slow? I'm not used to having dodge rolls in games like this. I don't know, so I, I forget it exists. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's a thing! I find your ignorance of my capabilities I mean, amazing. originally I thought mm, I'd enjoy playing the Assassins the most, and so I started so playing them. Uh -huh. uh, and Imagine then I realized, hey, dodging and sneaking like, doesn't one work one very one well in this die. game. Yeah. So I'm just going to armor it up. <laughs> Time to tank my way through. Also, when I booted this game for the first time, I didn't realize it was a Diablo-like. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I didn't Have you tried Chaos Bane what... at all? The Warhammer one? Oh, the phone game? No, no, no. Uh, maybe it's not called Chaos Bane. I think it is called Chaos Bane. It's 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 on Steam, but it's like it's a regular Warhammer game that's a lot like this. Oh no, there it is. It's one word, not two. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, it does look like one. Um, if I recall correctly. I I've heard look... negative things about it. Well, I mean, it's recent reviews are mostly positive, and it's all reviews are mixed. Uh, I think I overlooked it simply because uh, no playable Skaven. And if you're a Warhammer fantasy game and you don't include Skaven playable, I don't give a shit. It's why oh, I didn't play Total Warhammer 1. Oh, Warhammer 2 doesn't have the Skaven, even as DLC? Total Warhammer 1 doesn't. 
Total Warhammer 2 does. Oh, uh, okay. That being said, uh, I think I did pick up Total Warhammer 1 uh, because all the characters from Total Warhammer 1 are playable in Total Warhammer 2. Oh, okay. But Welcome only if you have Total to Warhammer 1. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. Exactly yeah, it made a kind of legacy thing that's really cool, class. and I really hope more so places do that, now that I don't because it gives a reason to have the old game and build it on top of the old and game's foundation. Yeah. We were not oh, gosh, the camera shifted a little, and so, like, the blood is moving. And first I thought that you must oh, to it, Hulkstar like, disappeared and then oh. reappeared, and, like, that's bullet holes appeared. Oh, oh gosh, and because the camera is moving up and down, the blood is disappearing. Appearing and reappearing. And the but first, oh, I'll bullet say holes. It, it's weird. Like the, all the decals are fading in and out, and sometimes they're slowly moving. It's so strange. Why do you think I'm stuck in this hole? They're keeping us pinned down in here. I haven't been paying attention to a word this man's saying. I'm just distracted by how the fact the environment's changing around me. You have picked up a world skill. This can only be used a limited number of times as the counter shows, and only one type can be equipped at the same time. Uh, yeah, world skills are the transfer turret, and the, you also get, like, mines and stuff. Uh, basically, hey, I can use this, like, once or twice. Hmm. Yeah, they're kind of boring, but, like, super useful, or they can be. They range from wet fart to, oh my god, this is so useful. <laughs> you said wet fart, and I just thought of the Saints Row 3 fart in a jar. Why? Well, then, I don't know! Warm -up, wasn't it? But just, when you upgrade the flashbang all the way, it turns into fart in a jar, and I just thought about throwing that, and then all the luchadors puking everywhere. Some of these tribes spend Truly an apostle of Nurgle. Of the crew. <laughs> and what would you talked so long that my Madness critical chance boost disappeared. Yeah, so he's really monologuing, annoying. and it's annoying. Sometimes I look at some of these blood decals, and I'm wondering, like, they, they just made a blood decal that was small, and we're like, oh, how do we make this game bloodier? Eh, stretch it out a little. Yeah, they also, like, disappear sometimes if you zoom in to just the right angle. Yeah, that's exactly what was happening when I was talking to the guy at the screen. Like, it was just on the map, and then all of a sudden it wasn't. Some, some of the decals on this are janky as hell. Yeah. I mean, the fact that there are large objects that will disappear just because the game goes, I don't want to, is just a, a horrible misstep. It's, I don't know what it is. What, what engine are they using? I don't know. Because that could be it. It could be connected to what engine they're using. I paid attention to in ruining the game. What is what is disconnecting from me? Like sometimes I'm in a scene and then like something on a string like moves around me and I'm like, is Grimoire Vice right next to me? What is happening? Because it looks oh, like a fucking book is floating around me. I think I know what's happening. I think uh, the weapon that you have in your hand uh, is like moving around you weird. Because I I do that sometimes. Um, you know how when you're standing still, you have an idle animation? Yes. Um, when you're talking to somebody, I th I've never seen them actually do the idle animation. I think it locks your character pose, but the weapon didn't get the memo. <laughs> <laughs> so the weapon still goes through the idle animation. Yeah, it seems like that could be it. While your character is stoically standing there, <laughs> facing forward. Okay, there's this headless body that just like it was lying down and it just slid on in. Like I'm here too. It's <laughs> like I didn't want to be killed off screen. Whoops. Uh, I wonder what it looks like. I wonder what it looks like. He says. Oh yes. What it looks like. He says. Yeah, he's like I wonder what it looks like. But he's like so excited about it. Oh, the god. But now, move. Yeah. Okay, what if, okay, I guess we're done protecting, and so now we're moving forward. Yup. Okay, good. And you're about to see Thorn get his shit wrecked. I just saw, like, a guy, 
have in... a bunch of meat chunks and blood fly out of him. But the weird thing was, he looked to still be completely intact. So just a bunch of chunks flew out of him, and he was just like, look at me. I'm still To whole. be fair, at least it's not as bad as Fallout 3, where you could sometimes have, like, three left arms. Yeah, that was a little weird. Oh, traitorous scum! Mockery to your honor! Freaking bloody mess, Perk. <laughs> oh, yeah, the chainsword's not helping you. Oh, there you go. I think this. I think the worst thing is that this go scene goes on in complete silence. I haven't seen a silent thing. It wasn't silent for you? Nope. Seriously? It was yeah. silent for me. Nope. <laughs> I heard everything. I heard all of the poor voice acting. The like, scene goes on in complete silence whenever I play through it. What the hell? I'm great. I've just killed a hellbrute. So yeah, Thorn got his shit wrecked trying to 1v1 a hellbrute, and now you're gonna go 1v1 a hellbrute. <coughs> no, I, I already did it. It's done. You're a little late. <laughs> it, it's dead on the floor. <laughs> you killed the hellbrute faster than the hellbrute killed Vorn. <laughs> I really did. I really did. <laughs> I just ran in, started blowing it away with my shotgun, and that was it. I've disabled the uh, I haven't taken channel. allergy meds in like four days. Uh, you sound like it, man. I sound if awful, you right? You must I hate it. The ship leaves. We don't know where it's headed Every, like, I'll go a long period of time without sneezing, and then all of a sudden, there's just a moment where it's like, I'm going to sneeze like seven times successively. I, I'm not going to stop until I've gotten like seven sneezes out. <sighs> I did it when I was at the Dickens Fair, and this guy was like going to buy a... a a pewter and aluminum mug from and it's it's beastly this thing i could like i could i could like whoever i would like toast with if i was to to clank it against somebody else's it would break like whatever it was i don't care if it was if it was plastic it would bust <clears throat> i could i could like throw this thing into drywall and it would still be intact <sighs> Dirty mug. <clears throat> but this guy, I'm like talking with him about the different stuff and I'm, I'm appreciating all the different uh, mugs and glasses and all these things. And then I just have this sneezing fit in the middle of it. And I just go, and I just keep doing that. And this guy goes, you've got a lot of demons I see. And I'm like, yeah, or one big one that's just latched on in there. <laughs> It's just trying to sneeze them out. There's a stubborn one. Windows just notified me of something, but I don't care what it is. Astropath has sent your audio log to the Caligari Conclave, as you requested. Let me guess. I'm sure all those words mean something separately, but together they mean nothing to me. Maybe she was like, Caligari Conclave! And I'm like, oh, okay. You were talking to, uh, Winter. Yes. This lady yeah. who's dressed up like Harley Quinn, but with a tight, high bun. Hot, tight, high ponytail. I guess no, not quite. We are raising your clearance level. What is this, shield? Get out of my face. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're, not a grand, you're not a high, uh, high lord, uh, not, uh, you're not a high inquisitor. No, I'm not. You're a fairly fresh inquisitor. I'm, I'm a very sober inquisitor, thank you. Who is in control of this camera? Are they drunk? Hold it still! Never. <laughs> but it's like slowly moving. It's like, uh, 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 uh. woo! Damn, you're big. Yeah, what the I'm huge. Fuck. Oh, okay. Oh, I love how it's got a hat on. Oh yeah, my my servo skull. Yeah, it's a commissar servo skull. Does it have a cigar? Turn around. There we go. <laughs> oh, I see. That's like it, the muzzle a, of a gun that it's using as it's a cigar. It's an exhaust, actually. As a what? It's an exhaust. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, it's got it in its mouth like a cigar. Um, you should have access to it. You just go over here to this little console. And uh, it's one of the... Uh, oh, gosh! Games. A naked flying baby. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the cherubs are uh creepy. Grieving cherub. Scryer skull. Yeah, I have the servo, servo commissar, commissar skull yeah, because activate. it's freaking cool as hell. Look at that. It's so cool. Whoa, the legacy repentant cherub. Yeah, it does look pretty cool. Harold Cherub. Monotask Servo Skull. That's interesting. And then I come full circle. Yep. Uh, you can also change some cosmetics, like uh, give yourself a different helmet, or uh, like I have a step effect. Oh, that's a helmet that reminds me of Dead Space. Okay. Yeah, my helmet these are gives cool. me a step effect. Or not my helmet. My but I don't think cosmetic. I've unlocked any of these. The helmets? No. Uh, you can take off your helmet, though. Yes. It looks like uh, it, the game finally loaded in our uh, Steam avatars. Oh, yeah, so it did. Yep. There I am, drinking coffee from a Spider-Man mug. Mm-hmm, and I'm, I'm giving the bedroom eyes, apparently. <laughs> and that's really what that image looks like. It looks like I'm giving bedroom eyes. I should really change that. <laughs> Is this, like, the planet that the Russians emigrated to? Charkov? I don't. Merciful Agony. It, th I have three arrows pointing to it. I don't know if they want me to go there. I mean, we can go anywhere. <laughs> we don't have to continue. You have all of space! I know, right? <laughs> this is Meta Surgeon Agrippa 723 Theta speaking. How can I assist you? You fooled me. You're not moving your mouth, but you're saying you're speaking? <laughs> I, I know we only just got here and it's been an hour, but I have to fucking pee, so I'm gonna be right back. And then we'll start the mission. <laughs> and I joined, and then, so, and then that's the episode. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling that this is probably going to be cut into two episodes, and the first episode is going to be like, okay, we finished the tutorial, everybody's seen Kilo, and that's the episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'll just make it like an hour-long something now episode. If you, if you want to see Kilo actually play, you gotta watch it too. <laughs> That's how you get them. That's how you get that retention time. <laughs> gotta pay 99 cents. Oh, hey. No, no, no. You're not EA. <laughs> Go the EA route. You're, you're not EA. You're a YouTuber. That's a, there's a difference. I haven't played Vermintide 2. Vermintide 2 is so good. It's so much better than the first one. Cause... But I'm assuming like the first one, you don't have a Skaven playable. Yeah, you just slaughter them all. But yeah. they also added uh, chaos. Um, they you didn't know, so add any extra characters, action, right? in fact. In fact, it's all the same playable characters in 2. But now each character has three classes. Vermintide 2 is really good. They got, like, the, like one of the classes for... You remember the guy you played? The the salt spire, the, the witch hunter? Maybe. I don't... Uh, the last class it. you unlock for him, he's the one with the rapier and the pistol. Uh, again, I don't remember much of well, he just kept shooting pistols and tossing them. He didn't really reload any pistols. Uh, and uh, he used a rapier. <laughs> but now you can get like different weapons that have different loot stats and stuff. And uh, you choose your class and get different upgrades. And uh, one of the classes for him is like the heretic and he gets fire magic. Hmm. And of course, with, with each class change, you get different appearances. So like, there's also like a berserker for the dwarf. The fact that they aren't calling it a beard zerker is disappointing. I mean, to be fair, I did shoot him with a multi, uh, multi melta and I called that my weaker attack, so... Gale How'd I shoot off both arms? I don't understand. I shot a single bullet. It's like when you shoot somebody in the head in Fallout 3 and then their legs fly off. <laughs> oh, Fallout. If you don't mind me asking, New Vegas still best why Fallout. Are you so sure this Caius Thorn could help your investigation? I really didn't like New Vegas, I'm gonna be honest. It was too western for you, I get it. Digital weapons? Yeah, I'm not quite sure what it does exactly. I just know that I weapons. prefer to have my deflector field. Uh, digital weapons, though, in Cleansing universe are basically just uh, similar to how Borderlands does the digistruct 
thing. Oh, okay. Uh, they just they make them really, the really small. There is no trace of the and I don't remember if, it, if they get bigger or not to actually get used, or if they just stay the small. And still, hmm. nothing. I don't know. I so if you want to melt a gun the size of a Derringer, here's the weapon. The <laughs> of my rogue trader clan. It has been in the possession of there is a game that's like Left 4 Dead, but with aliens, and you 3D print a lot of weapons. When the inquisitorial it's called Earthfall or whatever. I'm thinking about trying it out because I have it. Oh, uh, by the way, green is a higher rarity than blue. What? Yep. That it doesn't make sense. White, blue, green, purple, orange. That's very strange to me. I, I know. Cynics and I were both thrown for a huge loop. I was like, wait, what? Green is more rare than blue? When? Why is this a thing? That's... That changes everything I know about games like this. That's... <laughs> it's so weird. I thought Why it was that... weird that I was using a green item that was had better stats than a blue item. It's so weird, isn't it? It's very strange. All right, great. I, I've read this. Great. Close the window. Oh. Fuck. Apparently, it needs both of us to do it. What? I was just complimenting this game. <laughs> How dare it do this? <laughs> oh. I didn't know okay, that was a thing. A sudden metal concert. I implant. I love it's how enemies iPhone. just drop that. It's your iPhone. Ah, <laughs> uh, but um. Why do they call it the iPhone? You'll learn after we install it. Why is it called an iPhone? I'll explain after I install it. Ah! Whoa! Oh. I see you. Inquisitor, readings have uh, apparently, I went a little too levels. far into the room. You've reached the center <laughs> of the chaos infestation. Stay alert. Need to find a cogitator. Did you hear Payday 2 just got like new DLC? <laughs> Jesus Christ again? Yeah. And they're supposedly working on 3 right now. And like Starbreeze isn't isn't doing well, but apparently I guess they're doing well enough to to make a third Payday and hope that it will, you know, save them. Where are you going? I don't know. I just found these shelves of scrolls, and I decided to shoot them. And then they had complete physics, and so I had to shoot the rest. <laughs> okay. I just like the way they crumbled. This is a central cogitator of the, the way the cookie crumbles? It was made of biologists. <laughs> I guess so. That's the way the education crumbles. It must be like here. The shelving crumbles. It's a visual representation of America's uh, school systems and curriculums. <laughs> Falling apart all over. <laughs> With all the knowledge just rolling across the floor. And everybody's just kicking it as they walk. That's actually incredibly accurate. <laughs> I think that's a sad thing. Right? Oh, beam me up, Scotty. Never actually uttered. No, it's not. That's the weird thing. That, just beam us up. There's several things that come close, but never that it, exact it's, phrasing. It's just like how people are like, Luke, I am your father. It's like, it's it's never stated like that. Yeah. It's no, I am your father. Yes, exactly. And then, Unlock it's not true! It's no. impossible! Well, Can we destroy this plane? I... <laughs> uh, maybe? I... I'm not where you are, so. Uh, press the map and find me. I'm on my way. Move so slow. Yeah, you have to hold shift and then you can start attacking these things. <laughs> uh, it's almost done. Dum -de -dum. I found you guilty. I saw an explosion. Yeah, I destroyed it. Nothing's underneath. I already got that chest. So, you know. It was, uh, 
it was a pretty explosion. That was pretty much it. <laughs> I saw the tail end of the explosion. I, that was about it. I wonder if I could throw that on there and make that explode. Oh, nope, it just clipped right through. Yes. What? When I slash, why does it sound like I'm hitting metal? Uh, I don't know. What weapon are you using? I'm using a sword. Uh, the power sword? Or yeah, the it's a power sword. Uh, good question. Possibly because power weapons, like, we don't know what sound they would actually make because it's a matter distortion field. Well, I just blasted that guy into, uh, into the deep waters. Remarkable. A soul-bound warp creature protects the chest. Most remarkable. <laughs> Most remarkable, it's dead. Stuff. And things. I like loot. Stuffing things. I love stuffing things. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> that or just Sterling Archer phrasing. Your mouth better get over there and make Torvald happy. Um, phrasing? You're just running over mine. Yep, I'm dodge rolling over them to be exact. So they don't activate because I'm, uh, until like, I'm far away. <sighs> Oh, okay. Well, I'm opening a chest, but you're investigating. Apparently. That's quite unfortunate, Inquisitor. At least I've eliminated the That's unfortunate, and then she just drops like a fucking like bomb on you. <laughs> like a hammer of dawn explosion. I'm still trying to soak up the information about the green being more rare than the <laughs> Like, I look at it, and I'm like, oh, green, okay. Why is this it's one not? So, it's so weird, isn't it? Just fucking break! I think it's indestructible. What? Like, everything else is destructible. You can't be like, look at this. I We made, like, a red faction-like level of destructibility and then leave something indestructible. But I'm going to end the episode here, because it's been about, like an hour and 35 minutes or so. <laughs> <laughs> so...